Last season, head coach Todd Simon and company turned around the Bowling Green men's basketball team from 20 losses to 20 wins. However, a new season means more change. When fans see the Orange and Brown play at the Strauss Center this year, there will be 10 new faces on the Bill Frack court. Throughout this 10-part series, we will get to know each new player and person for the Falcons. The next player we'll learn more about is Derek Butler, a senior guard who is at his fourth university in as many years. Butler played at Central Michigan last season before transferring within the MAC to Bowling Green. Through the portal process, I had a ton of schools from ACC, Big Ten, to some, even some SEC schools, but um, I wasn't really going for the name. I was really going for just a, a place where I could really flourish and have a great year for my last year. You know, we really valued what he, what he was, and, and uh, when there was a match to be made, it, it was we were excited to have him on our side. Obviously, he made some big shots against us in those games that we were on the wrong side of, and, and uh, you know, so uh, hopefully uh, he's making those same clutch shots for us. Todd Simon and the Falcon coaching staff laid out a plan for Butler, which is a major reason why he came to BG. Just the coaching staff, they welcomed me. Coach Simon gave me a blueprint from what he needs for me, and it just matched my needs. For, for how we play, you know, he fits. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to get up and down the floor. We're trying to score a lot of points. Uh, we think he's, he's got an ability to do more in ball screens. We, we wanted to get him a little more involved in that. And, and uh, you know, his ability to get downhill, we think we can space up the floor a little bit, give him some opportunities to to get deep paint with his athleticism and he's a big strong guard and, and so we're taking advantage of that for sure. Butler fell in love with basketball because of his aunt who he views as one of the biggest inspirations in his life. Okay, so my journey is uh, very special so I really didn't start taking basketball seriously until I was like 13, 14 and my aunt, she, uh, she played overseas and went to Temple University. And I used to uh, go up to New Jersey every summer where I was born, and I used to uh, play basketball camp, and every summer I would get better and better and better. And that's when I really started to uh, love the game of basketball. I really modeled my whole, just everything that she has, like her, her work ethic, just caring about, and just being thankful. Like my aunt is really a big inspiration while I'm here and gonna exceed in, in my life. Butler describes his personality as laid back. Yeah, so me as a person, um, I'm very laid back, uh, don't really talk that much, but I'm really overall a nice person. I just is very thankful for opportunity each, uh, each day that's given, so I'm just overall a great laid back person. Butler lists defense as his greatest strength on the court and views it more as a mentality than anything else. Defensively, I feel like it's more of a mindset for me. Um, just overall, just being a pest, uh, mentally never tired, and just like always being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he's tough. He's tough. You know, you're not going to rattle him. He's not going to lose confidence in that. He, he, he's going to compete in every possession. He's, he's strong. He's physical, and uh, you know, he's got a great confidence about him. And so, those qualities make for a really, really good defensive player. Butler is aiming to add to his trophy case this season with the orange and brown. I just want to really win like the MAC championship. I feel like we have the team to do it. We have the size, the athleticism, and just the overall skill. And my personal goals, I want to you know, be defensive player of the year and win player of the year. So I'm just really working hard and sharp towards that. Tyler Cavalitz, Falcon Media Sports Network.